All eyes are now turned to Downing Street, while the world awaits the Prime Minister's response to a statement issued by the Jersey authorities, inviting UN weapons inspectors to visit what they maintain is not an underground weapons research facility, but is in fact a public toilet, frequented only by the elderly incontinent and occasional cottagers. Angus Didgert, tomorrow today, today. At Argos, we make a little less fuss. So we've known each other our whole lives, really. Can't remember a time without Jenny. She really is the uh, proverbial girl next door. <laughs> That's sweet. Although some people think it's just laziness. I'm sorry? A friend of mine had a childhood sweetheart, but he was only with her because he could be. It was convenient, you know? So are you calling me lazy? No, it's not my opinion. I'm just talking about my friend and pointing out how slim the odds are. You're crazy. I've been working six days a week for the last five months without missing a day. And I definitely don't have the energy for an affair on my day off. I've seen her. Besides which, Jenny here is a housewife. And why don't you tell him he's wrong? Uh, just for your information, we're just now entering Shrewsbury. Um, we have authority to arm. Just to confirm, we've got that from control. Is that correct? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, that's received then. We're not armoured up, so we'll find somewhere en route and make for the scene. Shit, stop. Go! So, how can we be sure that Martin wasn't involved with the terrorist group as well? The shooting could have been a leadership coup planned by you and Martin to get rid of Lewinstra. He's innocent. I mean, relatively speaking, that is. Well, that will be determined in the courts once the Americans have had their due process. I just want to get it over with. Well, that may take some doing. There's a lot of stones left unturned. And right now, you're the only one with any answers. Anyway, we've investigated the damage done in your home, and it all matches with your story. As for you, you'll be deported as soon as possible. I don't know what they do over in America, but I'll bet you'll need one bloody good lawyer to get anything short of a very long prison sentence.